Hey guys, EJ Emo coming here with you today for a vape review on the Sigeli Silver Dragon. I haven't really seen any reviews on it on YouTube, so I figured I'd be one of the first people to show you a little bit more about the mod, see if uh, something that you're interested in. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Let's get started in an in-depth review. Okay, so this is the Sigeli Silver Dragon. It is a telescopic mod made none other by Sigeli himself. It takes anywhere from a 18360 battery to a 18650 battery. Um, the threads on here are actually pretty good. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising for a Chinese-made mod. They're really stepping up their game lately. Um, it's made of stainless steel, um, and the contacts are made of copper, which ensures they're going to get some of the best resistance. Um, it does have a top cap, and it is ego-threaded. Uh, so for anybody who digs your clearomizers or anything like that, stardusts, uh, you can use it. Um, the one little gripe that I do have with this is not everything fits flat with it. Um, for instance, here's my IGO W, in case some of you guys have that. It does not fit flat. Another gripe that I have with the device is that it gives the impression that it's supposed to be uh, adjustable center pins because it has a little screwdriver slot right there. Um, but I tried backing out all the way and tried screwing down the IGO W onto it and uh, it, it made zero difference. Um, so that's just a little gripe. I mean, it's, it's no big deal at being telescopic and all. Um, but no, I just have a few little gripes with the device. Other than that, um, the mods, it feels pretty well in the hands. Um, feels pretty weighty. When the battery's not in it, it shakes a little bit. Uh, but once the battery's in there, there's no rattle. Everything's fixed. Everything's pretty set. Um, and then another gripe that I have with the device is switch. Um, the switch is kind of awkward. Um, I like that it's bottom positioned. Um, the only thing is, is that it has a really small divot where your finger's supposed to be, and luckily my hands are very slender and small, so when I push down, it, my fingers fit right in the slot. But for those with bigger fingers, um, I can imagine it posing a problem. Um, most people who have bigger fingers that I've seen honestly just hit it like this with their index finger, and it looks kind of strange. But, um, but yeah, th there's just a few gripes about it. And then... Okay, now that I show you a little bit more about the mod, the, all the specs and whatnot, uh, let's see how it vapes. So today I'm rocking the Silver Dragon with a 18650 battery. Um, up on top I have a IGO W. Uh, I'm rocking a dual coil in it. Um, it's running at 0.7, 0.8 ohms. Um, I bore out the holes to 330 seconds. And I'm using Canthal 28 gauge. So let's see how this thing performs. As you can see, it performs excellent. Um, I mean, yeah, guys, overall, this mod for the price, um, I picked it up for $37.99, I think, over at 101vape.com. If you guys want to check them out, they got this. Um, I picked it up pretty cheap. Um, for what it is, I mean, a stainless steel mod with copper contacts. Uh, I mean, you really can't go wrong with the price. Um, I feel there really isn't that big of a voltage drop. It really is keeping a pretty decent vape. And yeah, I mean, there really isn't much more I could say. It's uh, it's machined very nicely. Um, it looks pretty good. It's a pretty sexy device. So uh, that about wraps it up. Uh, if you guys want to see more of my views, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll catch you later. Have a good one.